Indiana. Thank you. Come here, Coda. <laughs> so, yeah, it was uh, rather funny when that happened. Um, they have their triggers. Mm hmm. Pat Love was right. So, Pat Nixon's uh, meatloaf, and this is going to be a, a simple recipe, but it takes time. And we're also doing uh, comfort food with that. Uh, my mom had a couple recipes that I thought would go with the meatloaf. So we're making uh, grown up mac and cheese, which is uh, an Ina Garten recipe. Uh, also my mom's favorite, uh, Swiss chard. We're gonna have that sauteed, so we'll have greenery with food. So it won't just be meat. Sorry about that. Um, and then... <laughs> it's my, that's my fault. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> Hippie was coming up with side dishes and all of it was starchy and <laughs> I was like, where are the greens? Where are the greens? Yeah. Where, where are the greens? <laughs> so we're gonna have uh, the sauteed Swiss chard and dessert is egg fried cheese's request, which is the Tropicana ice cream cake. Um, and as I was relaying earlier, I was trying to make um, one thing I've never eaten is meat. Oh, really? I never? I mean, my mom made it all the time. But hey, you get to see it for the first, well, I'm sure you've seen it, but it's comfort food, especially here in the States. Uh, my mother used to make it smothered in ketchup. Um, basically, the top of it was uh, a ketchup tomato thing. Always good. But I don't think she followed a recipe for that. I think she just sort of winged it. Yeah, I never got my mother's recipe for meatloaf, but she made it quite often. Didn't the, she get... I'm sorry, go ahead. I have my own recipe that I found out of a magazine that I have used for years. It's called Depression, Depression. Loaf because it has inexpensive fillers in it that you, anybody would have in their pantry pretty much. 